I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. Really that money. That money. <clears throat> Street Fighter 6, it's a mixed bag. And I absolutely love every time I play this game, and I'm I'm literally speaking facts about the game, that the fanboy force comes out to defend it because they're so fucking ignorant that they just believe everything they're told by the FGC instead of using their fucking brains. So I'm playing the game, and once again, inputs dropping immediately. First match out of the gates claims to be a 19 millisecond match, and I'm like, no input. Did you see me? Press the button. You could see you hear the click. Drops the input entirely. No input comes out. What the fuck? You know? There was one guy I was playing. Um, Literally, it says, fight. And it's Ken. And he he drive imp rushes across the screen. Does low medium kick. I It wouldn't even block. I did nothing. I was anticipating a drive rush from Ken on fight. I was already down backing on the joystick to block. And it hit me. And I'm like, this fucking game, I'm sorry, it's not good online. The netcode sacrifices the accuracy of the gameplay to make it look good. Meaning the matches look good to the audience because you don't see lag or skipping or rollback, but it drops your inputs frequently. So someone who's just a fucking rushdown masher always will be benefited, while someone who plays more defensively or more you know intelligently actually always will get a worse experience online. It's absolutely trash. Um. And it pisses me off because the game is very sound competitively. I get the feeling this is probably one of the best Street Fighters ever offline. Meaning, at a high level, this game being played is probably super fun at a, at a high level. But man, playing it online, it's like someone's just punching in the ball sack over and over because your inputs don't come out half the time, and it really drives me nuts. And it's just hilarious because I call it for what it is. I'm honest about it. I tell you guys when it's happening live, I'll say, I did the move, it didn't come out. And everyone, well, the FGC doesn't say this. No one in the FGC says this. Why the fuck would they say it? They need this game to be super praised. They need this game to, everyone thinks it's the best fighting game ever. Why? Because it's the only fighting game Capcom has out. And it's the only fighting game they have if they're Street Fighter players. Why do you think they're going to criticize it? They did the same thing with Street Fighter V. When Street Fighter V came out, they praised it. They talked so highly about it. And they said it was good. Now that Street Fighter 6 is out, they all say Street Fighter 5 was dog shit. Right? Now, seven years later, they've all changed their tune. Do you think the game changed magically? It's the same fucking game. It's that they're not honest about it because they need hype. They need people to come to their streams, to come to their tournaments, to watch their shit, to enter their events, to buy the game, to buy the accessories, to buy the peripherals, to use the referral codes so they can make money. They can't say the game isn't good online because then they can't get the bag. How you don't understand this yet really drives me nuts. Why do you think that the one guy who doesn't benefit is honest, right? I don't benefit in any way from saying things about fighting games. If I say a fighting game is perfect or I say a fighting game sucks, it doesn't affect me, right? So why do you think the one guy who has no direct benefit would say something different from the FGC, right? Here's the truth. If you actually go on social media, you're going to find tons of people saying things like, why does Street Fighter VI eat inputs? Because it does. The netcode eats inputs constantly to make the game look good online, okay? But you don't find the people who represent the FGC to the public saying that. Why? Because they can't. They can't be honest. They're not allowed to. If they are, that's it, okay? So... That's why you get the honesty from me. Listen, I love Street Fighter VI. Like I said, I think competitively, it's a really good game. It's sound. Sure, it's unbalanced. Sure, the top tiers are overpowered. They'll probably rebalance this game a few times during its life cycle. Maybe like once a year, they'll do a new season update, and they're going to balance it again and again and try to fix things. I expect I expect that, and I appreciate Capcom doing that. But man, the netcode is duty when it comes to this dropped input stuff. It just makes it not fun. So last night, I returned to Street Fighter VI for the first time in two and a half months. First match out of the gates, input drops constantly. And I'm like, I didn't have this problem with Tekken because this is the other thing. People are like, oh, it's your joystick or whatever. I played Tekken for a month. Did you hear me constantly complaining about dropped inputs? No, because Tekken didn't drop inputs. 
Now, Tekken's connections were slightly laggier, meaning on average, a Tekken connection is right 30, 40 milliseconds at the best, all the way up to like maybe 80 milliseconds at the worst. So it's a little bit laggier, but it doesn't drop your inputs. I would much rather play a game that has a little bit of lag, but always gives you my moves, than a game that looks like it has no lag, but drops my inputs half the time to get there. That's just stupidity, and that's what Street Fighter VI has done. Look good for the audience, so it looks hype for people in the public, but it actually plays like dog shit online. <clears throat> now, perhaps this isn't an issue on PC, which would account for why the 99% of the people who play this game long term and are pro players are playing it on PC. I don't know. I don't have it on PC, I have it on PS5, and this is my problem with the game. So maybe that's why all the pro players jump to PC. You tell me. You would know better than me. <clears throat> but I'm just telling it like it is, okay? So anyway, last night, for two and a half hours, we played Street Fighter VI. The first hour and a half was Blanca. For an hour, I won almost every set. In fact, I did win every set. Sometimes I would lose the first match, but then I would adapt and come back. And some of these were very close matches. Um, there was only one person I lost to, and it was because basically his connection was shit. And then he decided to teabag, too, because he's a piece of dog shit with an asshole person. Um, but then I finally fought an Ed, and the Ed was a master Ed, who was really good with Ed. So it was cool. I, I lost a ton. I think it was like 10 to 3. Like, I won three matches. He won like 10. It was like a first to 10 set we did. And it took about an uh, uh, half an hour. But man, it was the first time I had ever seen Ed in action, and I was trying to learn certain things um, about what was going on. <clears throat> And I was like, okay, I'm absorbing knowledge. So Ed seems interesting. From long range, all he can really do is throw a projectile, it looks like. From short range, he's really good because he's fast as hell. And he has this standing, like, punch. And I don't know if it's a jab or a medium, but it seems to also hit low. So he could just stand there and throw out these punch, this, like, strike combo. It was like that into a special move. And he could just do it again. And then he could drive rush it. It's faster. And then he has this move that if he meter burns it, it's an uppercut, and it becomes completely invincible, and it blows through, like, everything. So he can bait you into thinking, oh, it's time for your, your move, time for your attack, and then he can just counter you with this invincible uppercut. Now, he also has this web thing, and I have no idea how it works. It looks like he grabs you. Even if you're blocking, he can pull you towards him. But I don't really understand his properties. I don't know if you're open when he does that. It was very weird. I was trying to figure it out. You know, I'd have to study this character a lot more to really get him. But he seems... He seems very, very, uh, different from the other characters, and that's a good thing. He's not just another pure rushdown character. He's not another DJ, Jury, uh, Ken, you know, he's not that archetype of just stay in your face rushing down the whole match, and that's a good thing. It seems like he has mix-ups and tricks as opposed to just rush, rush, rush. Um, at the same time, I, I don't know if he's good or not, because I, you know, it was the first time I ever fought him, and this guy was a master... Uh, Ed, who knew what he was doing, and he was whooping my butt, and I was like, oh, it's good. Here's the thing. I don't mind losing in a fighting game if I'm absorbing knowledge and and, and learning, and I absolutely was. I was actually sad that he, he beat me 10 to 3 or whatever, and then he quit, and I was like, oh, I would have fucking played that for another hour. I really would have, because I'm absorbing knowledge, and that's one of the more satisfying things you could do when you're playing a fighting game. Um, then for the, the second half of the stream, I switched to Lily, and the trolls came out in force and tried to mess with me. There's this one troll who apparently has an awful connection. And basically, he keeps changing his name. So it looks like it's a different person, but it's the same person over and over. So after I figured it out, I banned him. I just blocked him so I don't have to fight him ever again. There were two of those idiots who were doing that shit. So I blocked both of them. And after I got past those two idiots, then we started playing for real with Lily. And I, I hate to say it, I like Lily, but man, she sucks. Now that the game is almost a year old, it's like, she is one of the worst. She's such a hard time trying to hang with anyone else in this game. Um, unfortunately, she just doesn't have speed. She doesn't have enough options. And when she is on the ropes, she really has nothing, no way to get out of a corner. And because of that, she just, she can't hang right now. They need to, I think what they need to do is give her a perfect reversal. Like if they gave her a perfect wake up, like if her rising falcon move or whatever the hell it's called was like a Shoryuken and had invincibility frames that blew through everything, she'd just be much better right off the, the bat to be able to get out of these situations. Um, And I do feel like maybe if they improved some things, like, uh, I don't know, maybe give maybe her throw, improve it a little bit. Because the problem is most people could just easily 
neutral jump over and over in the match against her, and she has no options to stop it. Like, she can't stop the neutral jump. So you can have people do hit string, neutral jump away from any option she has. Oh, safe hit string again, neutral jump away. She can't do anything. She's just stuck. And it's frustrating because I like that character build, but I don't think in the meta of the game she really fits anywhere. So... It is what it is. I, I lost a ton, but I won some matches too, so it was fun overall. Overall, I would say I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed going back to Street Fighter VI. If we, if you guys choose for me to play more today, I'll probably use Zengief and Dalsim and Honda. You know, I won't use the characters I used last night. Um, and uh, definitely, I would, I would like to play more if you want, but only if you want. We don't have to today. I mean, that is a lot of Street Fighter overload after just doing it last night. But the thing is, I don't know if I'll have a chance to play it again this week. Maybe one night, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I had a good time. And overall, attendance was great. Support was good. You know, everything is staying great. Since I went to this variety schedule and dropped the RPGs, everything's going good. People really seem to be enjoying it. So that's a good thing, right? So now let's...